random killing machine, more of a personal statement. Q. 007. So what if each gun knew the person who was about to pull the trigger? And if you didn't buy it, you can't fire it. The vice president says, Joe Biden, that technology like that exists. Is that available on every weapon sold? There is a, there's significant evidence that would uh, um, may very well have curtailed what happened up in Connecticut. But we wanted to know how realistic is that technology and should it be required by law? We're joined now by product and industry news specialist for guns.com, Max Slovic. Uh, good to see you, Max. So uh, we've seen James Bond movies. Uh, sometimes we think, wow, that technology looks so cool. But is it actually real? The vice president says we're very close to this smart gun technology where the person who actually owns the gun would be the only one who could fire it. Is that correct? Well, there is a sort of technology in the works. It's, it's very much still in its infancy, and there are some promising leads, but nothing concrete exists right now. Mm -hmm. So how there would are... it exist, Max? If, if, if it actually was there, if it's a prototype right now, tell me how it works. There are two, branching, two branches of technology for this. There's radio and there's biometric scanners. And the radio system works... The, the prototypes that are most common and most successful are based on these radio scanners. The way they operate is with a ring or a bracelet that the operator wears, and anybody who has access to that ring or bracelet can also operate the gun. So it's not a totally secure system in and of itself. And I know that you have problems with system. it with regard with self... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I know that you have problems with it with regard to self-defense because there's a, some sort of a failure rate on it. Well, it depends on the uh, particular company that's developing it, but it can be as high as 10%. And there's also kind of a lag between when you grab the firearm and when the safety disengages and when seconds count. That is that is the last thing that you want to have happen mm -hmm. come between you and your gun. But as somebody who's a gun specialist, do you see this becoming a reality, let's say, in the next decade? And, and would it eventually be a good idea that you would be sort of fingerprinted, coded, so to speak, so that only the person who owns the gun, licensed to have it, actually uses it. It would be a great ideal if that was possible. And, and maybe 10 years from now, there might be some better technology to support that type of safety. But there are also other pitfalls. Um, anything that can be, any security system that you have that's electronic can have other vulnerabilities like spoofing or blocking. Mm -hmm. And then with the other branch, with the, the biometric scanner, there are other hurdles that it hasn't broken. Okay. Um, like if you're wearing a pair of gloves, right? it wouldn't oh, yeah. work. It no, wouldn't be able to scan. I, I can anything. imagine how people would immediately try and get past it. i got to wrap it up there. Max Slovic, live from Vegas this morning. Thanks so much for your time and explaining it to us.